City National Arena. Fans pack the stands to watch the Golden Knights practice, but when the Knights aren't on the ice, other athletes are. Well, loosen up, let's get some good strides going, get those arms loose. Puck around, free skate. That's the head coach. I'm Jason, Coach Jason. He's the new coach of a new team with no name. We'll see what they come up with. Inspired by the team that rose to fame. Let's start reaching out to some kids that maybe don't have those same opportunities. How does that one fit? Does that feel all right? See, look at Coach's head. Right? Perfect. Let's stand up and we'll get it on you straight. How many goals are we going to score today? Two. Three. And three. This is youth sled hockey. Francis was born with a spinal cord injury. He cannot walk right now, and uh, we don't know what the future holds. He loves the Golden Knights. Nice and high. There we go. This gives him the opportunity to show him that anything is possible. Hey, that's it. Just like that every time, huh? When he's around kids who have the same abilities, you know, he's able to sort of level the playing field a little bit, and I, I think it helps him and his confidence level. Good job, they get to come out here on the ice. They get to not worry about what's going on at school or worried about, you know, you know, people looking at them or thinking that they're different because when they're on the ice, that's they're all the same. Those are teammates and they're athletes. Push hard, push hard. You got it. You got to put that stick in right there. There we are. Push up. Almost, almost. And as soon as they step on that ice, they're an athlete. They're, they're treated just like any other athlete, any other player that I've played with and coached. Put those sticks in the ice. Push. There's expectations. Hey, you work hard out here on the ice. You know, you have fun and you practice hard. And that's what they want. You know, they, they just want that opportunity that everybody else has. And that's what we're here to do. Who's going to get me? No way, buddy. <laughs> this is really amazing. He needs to feel like I'm not different. He needs to feel that. This is the first port he's actually played. So uh, seeing him out there you know, makes you feel good. And we're up. The happiest guy on the ice? That's Calvin Labrada. He's 13 years old. They're just so happy and proud seeing him, you know, doing a little bit of everything like he used to. Like he used to before 2010. He was in an accident, in a car accident. He's very young when that happened. All right, here we go, bud. Calvin's father died in the crash. Keith Gassaway is Calvin's stepdad. A perfectly normal child before that. And then he was comatose for a little over three months and had a massive TBI. Traumatic brain injury. I don't think a kid deserves to be to go through that. You can't really explain how difficult it is, but it was. We've been through a lot. We're gonna go super fast. Yeah, you think so? Seeing his progress and seeing you know what he's come from and, and what he is now you know, makes it all worth it. He's still happy. He's still Calvin. You know. He still have the that happy spirit. Watching their faces light up when they're on the ice the first time, or they're propelling, or they get that first shot, that's you see that in the other athletes, and to, and to let them have that same, you know, scenario, that same feeling, it, it's everything. To fit in more, you know, to be more of a normal teenager, you know, more no, more normal of a kid. Super high quick speed all the way down. It gives me, you know, great pride to see him out there and playing and, and, and showing him that everything we've been telling him this whole time, that as long as you put your mind to it, you can do anything. You may do it a little differently, but you can do anything. There's a place for their kids. There's a place for anybody. It just warms my heart to see him out there enjoying this experience, having a great time, doing everything that his brother can do, um, just a little bit differently.